Hi, my name is Rebecca. I'm originally from Coral Springs, Florida, and I play flute and piccolo in the orchestra now. My musical journey started when I was very young. My mother would tell you that she played classical music for me all the time in the womb, so that by the time I was born, I already had this deep appreciation of classical music. So much so that by the time I was four, I was already writing my own songs and trying to guess the name of the composer on the classical music radio station and begging my parents to sign me up for piano lessons. They happily obliged to that last one and I played piano for several years. And then my grandmother actually bought me this book, The Story of an Orchestra by Robert Levine. And in that book, I learned about all the different instruments and different composers and time periods. And I just became completely fascinated with the flute and the piccolo. Some would say obsessed with the flute and piccolo, especially the piccolo. I just adored its teeny tiny little size and how despite its small stature, it would soar above the orchestra like no other instrument. I've seen a man on his hospice bed in his last few weeks of life make eye contact with his wife for the first time in years with recognition that it was his wife because I was playing a song that they danced to at their wedding. I've seen children with autism and developmental disabilities having trouble expressing themselves verbally and finding so much joy when they learn I can express myself through music. I can sing and dance and play music to show what I'm feeling. And for the typical concert goer, listening to a symphony may not give the same kind of revelation as the ones I just described, but if I can have someone leaving the concert hall with so much as a smile on their face, or maybe just thinking about something a little bit differently, then that's enough for me to keep doing what I'm doing. I love so many things about tone, but the thing that stands out to me first is that we play such a huge variety of repertoire. We play the masterworks that we all know and we all love, but we also play these lesser known gems that we may not have encountered otherwise. And they're wonderful pieces of work that you wonder, why aren't those considered one of the masterworks that we play all the time? And this exposure to such a variety of repertoire has really helped me prepare for my future as a flutist, but also helped me grow in ways that I didn't see coming.